Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video, I'm going to check the Ishin Red Devil. In case it looks familiar, that's because it's almost identical to the Happy Model Selfly X and the main difference between the two models is that the Red Devil is using the canopy of the Ishin trash can. So on the front, you can find room for the Cadex 2 Boy S2 16x9 Nano FB camera and it's connected to a 40 channels VTX that supports smart audio and has a selectable output frame of 25, 100 and 200 millivolts. In addition, the motors are slightly different and the Red Devil is using 1102 8700 kV motors comparing to 9000 kV motors on the Happy Model Selfly X and the 16 volt 100 microfarad capacitor has been added to the battery XT30 connector and this is actually important because many users reported that they had issues with their Crazy B F4 Pro flight controller. And you can also get this connector separately. And if you already own the Happy Model Selfla X or a similar quadcopter, you can simply change your existing connector. In terms of packaging, unlike the simple packaging of the Happy Model Selfla X, the Red Devil came inside this Ishin branded bag. And inside, along with the quadcopter, you can find the user manual, a bag with spare 65mm props, a propeller extractor tool, spare screws, a sticker for securing the battery on the bottom of the quadcopter, and you're also getting a 300mAh Ishin branded 3S LHV battery. The weight of the Ishin Red Devil is 37.6 grams, and since it's using separate camera and VTX, it's about 2 grams heavier than the Happy Model Selfly X. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the Ishin Red Devil using 2 and 3S like a batteries. And even though normally I'm not very conclusive in my reviews, I can tell you that in my opinion, you shouldn't get this quadcopter and the Happy Model Selfly X is a much better option. First of all, you're going to see that the video footage had lots of jello and this is because this canopy is not very well mounted and I did put some foam under the canopy but it still got plenty of jello. In addition, the range of this quadcopter is not very good. You can get about 100, maybe tops 150 meters. So it's not very important to get a separate VTX because even a 25 millivolt is going to be enough for 100 meters and you're not going to take advantage of a 200 millivolt VTX. So overall, I don't think that it's worth paying extra $20 for the Ishin Red Devil. Currently, the Selfly X is on sale for $83, and in my opinion, it's going to give you a much better value for your money. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos! And goodbye.